Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem cemented strings of February circuits 2022. Okay, so before moving on let's talk about the prerequisites required to solve this problem efficiently. So basically we need an efficient data structure to keep track of the number of elements which are smaller than the given data. So the very best data structure in C++ that is going to help us is like uh, you, uh, you need to know the concept of policy based data structure or that set. Okay, so if sometimes it happens like you're not aware about that, consider the Java uh, programmers or Python in the Python language also. So what you are going to do is you're, you need to implement the fan victory. So Fenwick trees uh, will help us to know the number of elements uh, smaller than the given data in logarithmic time, right? So no need to worry about if you are using a C++, you can use an ordered set. But uh, if you are using some other language, I don't know, it may have some efficient data structure. But uh, in uh, like in any ways, you can use a Fenwick tree also. So but for now, we will be using the ordered set concept of C++ to implement the to solve this problem efficiently okay so I'm not going to read out this all story so but yes I will explain the entire thing mathematically over here so basically uh, there is a person Bob and uh, Bob is given a string s0 s1 s2 s3 let's say s4 finally s5 so uh, these are actually the buckets that is placed over here. So we are not interested in all the stories. So each time Bob will pick up, pick up the smallest character present in the string. So what uh, the Bob is going to do is each time it will pick up the smallest character present in the string. So uh, after picking up that character, let's say the character is S4. So after picking up S4, let me write down pick S4. The string will modify it S4, S0, S1, S2 and S3, finally S5. So S4 character will be deleted. So when we pick S4, there is some cost associated with that. If I'm not wrong, yeah so there is some cost associated with that so uh, each time the bob will pick up the smallest character present in the string and also yes if there may be multiple smallest characters in that case you need to pick up the very first entry of that smallest character index right so when we pick up s4 the cost will be incremented by number of characters visited number of characters visited in the path visited in the path so what does it actually mean is suppose we want to visit s4 so what is the number of characters that is visited in the path to meet s4 including s4 also s0 s1 s2 s3 and s4 so the cost will be incremented by cost plus equal to 5 so this is the one of the required information so we have the new string right so what will happen is we we have been asked to choose another uh, smallest character that is what bob is going to do each time pick up the smallest character so suppose the next smallest character lies over this s2 okay so we need to uh, know the how much cost will be increased so cost will be increased by cost plus equal to number of characters visited in the path so S0, S1 and S2. So cost plus equal to 3. So this will be the answer. When we pick S2. So when we pick S2, the modified string is S0, S1, S3 and S5. Okay, so we need to do this operations, picking the smallest character repeatedly till the entire string is being exhausted. Okay, so yeah. So what will be the cost for doing such operation right so we need to output that value 
so what we are going to do that efficiently how we are going to do that so the very first simple solution comes into your mind is the brute force n square type solution like if n is the length of the string pick up that smallest character uh, make a new string assign it and do that repeatedly it will uh, have the complexity of o of n square time uh, o of n square time and obviously if you look out for the constraints you can see n is around 10 raised to the power 5 so your uh, this uh, solution will fail so do we have some efficient data structure or some efficient idea to solve this problem so the answer is obviously yes s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 as well as s5 so uh, the key idea is so uh, each time we will pick up the smallest character right pick up smallest character so this was actually the idea so what we are going to do is we will sort all characters on the basis of the pairs sort all characters on pairs called uh, you can see character comma its index so we will sort all the characters of the given string on the basis of character comma index so we have the pairs called s0 comma 0 s0 sorry s1 comma 1 we have s2 comma 2 we have similarly so on it goes up to till s5 comma 5 that when we sort all the characters then that is going to help us to find out the solutions efficiently okay so suppose after sorting we have the following data let's say s2 comma 2 and we have let's say s5 comma 5 and then we have s3 comma 3 uh, we have then let's suppose s1 comma 1 then we have s0 comma 0 and what is the left s0 s1 s3 s2 s3 then remaining in the s4 comma 4 okay so we have this data in sorted form so uh, this will help us to find out the answers cost repeatedly efficiently so we will write down first indexes 0 1 2 3 4 as well as 5 right so the very first index is like like we need to choose the smallest character so smallest character is s2 since we have sorted that and the corresponding index is 2 okay so uh, the corresponding index is 2 that is being over here so we need to know the cost to reach this character s2 which is at present at index 2 so we will find out the number of characters number of indices which are smaller than uh, which are less than or equal to the index 2 so you can see there are three indexes 0 1 2 right so your cost will be incremented by 3 so when we are done with this one 0 1 2 so what we are going to do is we will erase the entry of this 2 from this set that we are going to maintain so you can see we have erased this one we have already cost being incremented cost plus equal to 3 now uh, you can see since we are done with this one we have erased 2 from this set now the next entry is 5 okay so when the next entry is 5 you need to find out number of uh, indices which are less than or equal to 5 you can see 0 1 3 4 5 so there are 5 indices so you can see uh, we need to erase 5 also as well as cost will be incremented by 5 which is the number of indices which are less than or equal to 5 so this is done so next is 3 so you will grab this one you will search for number of indices in the current maintained set which are less than or equal to 3 so you can see which is this one right so you will count 0 1 2 3 3 indices so you will cost will be incremented by 3 and again this will be erased from this one so each time you are going to do this one so how we need to know the number of elements which are less than the given data efficiently is uh, like we need to erase the entries also so this can be easily done by maintaining an ordered set 
ordered set in C++ which will help us in erasing that entry and finding out number of elements which are less than or equal to the current element. Right, so we will use the, if you are using ordered set, you will use s dot order of key where s is the ordered set variable, order of key of the data and similarly if uh, you are using a pen victory you need to know the number of elements which are smaller than the current element and this that can be also easily done in log of n time complexity and in the ordered set we are also having insertion and deletion and the logarithmic time okay so let's move out in the coding part how we are going to do that efficiently okay so you can see uh, I have included that ordered set right over here the policy based data structure now yes we have ordered set and initially all the like initial set is containing uh, the all the indices 0 1 2 3 up to n minus 1 so yes I, I have taken this st dot insert i all the indices and there we are also storing the pair character comma index and we are sorting that pairs now each time when we are having the pair uh, iterating in the store vector which is storing the character comma pair so we will search number of elements which is less than or equal to the current element so we will search for st dot order of key in the ordered set and the data plus one value because if you use the exact data it will give you number of elements which are less than strictly less than the current data but we need number of elements which are less than or equal to the current data so we will be searching for the data plus one value uh, which will give us the number of elements which are less than or equal to the current data and if you are done with that we need to erase the entry from the ordered set so we will use this operation st dot erase the current data and if you do like that you will end up with the correct answer so, okay so here yeah, it will give you all test cases passed so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video.